Hey guys, me and Dave, it's uh, 9-6-2023, so I haven't shaved, I haven't done anything to clean myself up, I'm dirty, <laughs> um, that'll happen tomorrow, um, so today I got nailed, um, I woke up, fed the dogs, and they're making me, they're making me throw up, um, today, it's Wednesday. So, um, I woke up and I thought, well, I'm going to ask my relative to take me to the ER. And then they stopped for a while. They stopped for a while, you know. And then they started again, you know, make me throw up. So I thought, well, I'm going to ask my relative to take me to the ER. You know, drop me, drop me off at the ER. Because there's no place to park down there, you guys. And, you know, there's no place to park and all this stuff. So I didn't want to drive down there myself, you know. So I thought uh, we got a brand new, brand new hospital. Um, they're trying to compete with uh, Mayo Clinic, uh, one of the best clinics in the world. Uh, the Mayo Clinic we have in Rochester, Minnesota. Um they're trying to compete with them kind of so we got a brand new hospital um and all stuff and big uh trauma trauma er trauma you know over the roadway um and you could just pull in drop the person off and pull right through and all the stuff so i had my relative take me down there and drop me off and i went into the er there was there wasn't many people in there. They didn't have no purpose in there. Um, and uh, you know, I was so tired because they didn't let me sleep that much um, last night. Um, they didn't let me sleep that much last night. So I, um, I, you know, I was up by I was up by like eight thirty, fed dogs, and then they started making me throw up and all this stuff. So I thought. And then they stopped for a while. They stopped for a while. And then they started again. So I, it's like, take me to the ER. Take me to the ER. So my relative um, took me to the ER. Dropped me off. I went into the ER. I didn't wait that long. I wasn't I wasn't waiting that long. Um, and they're like, what's the problem? What's the problem? You know, so I'm like, I'm throwing up. I'm throwing up nonstop. You know, I'm... Th See, they're throwing up nonstop, you know, and all this stuff. So then I got in there about 10.30, and they uh, did blood work. They did blood work. Uh, uh, it turns out my blood work was fine. It was fine for them, but the, the Lake Superior Community Health that I go to the clinic, um, they said my blood work was was off. You know, they said it was off. They did different tests. Is they said it was off. You know, uh, my potassium was really low and all this stuff. You know, and all you know from throwing up from throwing up all the time. You know, so um, I was in the waiting room. I was in there. I was in there at 10.30, and they had me put on a gown and stripped down, put on a gown and all this stuff. And then they did blood work. Um, they did an IV. Um, they poked me about five times, you guys. They couldn't, they couldn't catch a vein. Uh, they poked me about five times. Uh, they couldn't get a vein, you know, and all this stuff. And my veins kept on popping and all this stuff. And... And then they asked me, oh, you smoke weed? Oh, oh you smoke weed? Oh, usually you throw up smoking weed. It's like, I don't do drugs. I don't do drugs or anything like that. You know, I don't do drugs, you know, or anything like that, you know. And, uh, and, um, so I was down there from 1030 until about 230. Um, by this time, I'm getting impatient. I'm getting impatient. Um, nobody checked on me in about an hour. Um, 
And then the nurse came back and he said, well, we'll give you, um, do you want yogurt or do you want, you know, we'll give you a little something so, and see if you can keep it down. You know, we don't have yogurt, but we have chocolate pudding and we'll see if you can keep that down, you know. And it was like bearable, you know, bearable to keep it down. Um, they were making my stomach upset, even though they gave me an IV of medication um, to make my stomach not upset. But they, they can go through, they can block out these medications, you guys. They can block out these medications and make your stomach upset, no matter what, you know. So, they were still making my, my stomach upset and all this stuff. And I ate the pudding, drank a little water and stuff like that. And they kind of left me alone there for like an hour. So, it was like 2.30 and the nurse came in and checked on me and to be honest you guys i said am i free to go i, I want to go home i want to go home you know i want to go home you know i want to go home i don't want to see her anymore i want to go home um that was 2 30 you guys and my lab results were already in and all this stuff. And they were just dicking, dicking around. And um, so he's like, well, I'll have the, the... I didn't see a doctor, you guys. I seen a, I seen a PA, a physici physician's assistant. Um, I didn't see the doctor, you know. So um, she came in, read my result, my lab results. And said your blood your blood works normal looks good and all this stuff, and then and then I told her I said I have an appointment on Monday to see my nurse practitioner about this you know um, and they're gonna do blood work again do blood work again on Monday um, you know so. Um, so she's like, well, well, we'll, we'll get the paperwork ready and we'll discharge you and all this stuff. And then 15 minutes later, I was discharged and I called my relative up and my sister came and got me um, and stuff. But I was, I was out of there by three o'clock. I went in around 1030. In the morning, they got me in pretty quick. I, I was surprised they got me in pretty quick, and they had me put on a gown and all this stuff, and uh, they did blood work and all this stuff. Um, now my nurse practitioner wants me to have a CAT scan on my stomach. Um, this this girl, she was a PA. She's like, I don't, I don't, I don't think we need to do the CAT scan of your stomach. There's no inflammation, or you know, there's no uh, internal problems, I can tell. So she didn't do a CAT scan. Um, the funny thing is, is that I was in the ER and the clinic called me. The clinic called me. Uh, a nurse from the clinic called me and she said that my blood work was a little off and all stuff. But it's, it's kind of normal, but it's, but it's still a little off. And I said, well, I, I said, I was throwing up. I'm, I'm in the ER. I'm in the ER right now. I'm in my own, own room. I'm in my own room. I'm in the ER right now. She's like, you're in the ER? You're in the, you're in the hospital right now? I said, yeah, I'm in the ER right now. And um, because I'm throwing up. And, um, and then she... Uh, went over my blood work. My blood work was still a little off and all this stuff. And and she said, well, we'll keep your appointment for Monday. Go see Brittany. And then um, we'll do blood work from there. And we'll see where your blood work's at and all this stuff. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's just kind of going to stop. It's going to is he gonna see, is he gonna keep on making me throw up? Um, you know, I don't know. Um, I threw up all four times this morning. This morning, I'm like, I'm going to the hospital. I'm going to the hospital. 
um, the nurse's notes were like, if your symptoms, symptoms get worse, you know, come back to the ER and all stuff, you know, so if I'm, if I'm throwing up six hours a day, you know, I'll go back to the ER. Um, you know, um, the thing is, I was honest, um, I was honest, I went to, I went into the ER, and my nurse, uh, my nurse was a guy, and, uh, you know, I told him, I told him, um, I told him, uh, you know, I told him my past history of this, they can't figure out what's going on, um, I did tell him, I, I told him, I said, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I think I'm being here with direct energy weapons, pulse microwave weapons, uh, just like the diplomats. And um, he was involved. He was involved, you guys. Um, he said, or it could be aliens, um, you know, and stuff. So they got to them. They got to the nurse. Um, you know, I told him the truth. I said I'm being here with direct energy weapons, and and he said, or it could be aliens, you know. So um, they do get to these people. Um, Brian too is a big target. Um, they do get to all his medical appointments and all this stuff. Um, when you're real TI, when you're big TI, they do go down to the hospital and they get these people involved, and and that's just the fact of it, you know. Um, that's, that's the fact of it, you guys, um, you know, so that's what went on today, I spent most of my afternoon in the ER, um, they didn't do anything for me, they didn't give me any medication, um, I told the girl, I said they gave me two different medications, it doesn't do anything, it doesn't do anything, you know, um, so she's like, do you remember the name of the medication? I, I don't know. I don't know what the name of the medication is. I don't remember. She's a PA. Um, she was kind of slacking. Um, she was kind of slacking. She was letting me lay there for an hour. And it's like, I want to go home. I just, I just want to go home and lay down. And, you know, I want to go home and lay down. Um, because... We're spending thousands and thousands of dollars sitting here, and you're not really doing anything for me, you know. Um, they wrote in the notes. They said if your symptoms get worse and all the stuff, come back to the ER and all the stuff. So if I'm throwing up six hours a day, then I guess we'll go back to the ER. And um, they have a, it's a new hospital, you guys, a brand new um and they have um, parking. Um, you can pull into a parking ramp. And just for ER people. So I could drive my truck down there. And park right in the ramp. And um, wouldn't, have to pay for, wouldn't have to pay for parking or anything. And park in there for, for emergency trauma. You know, this is trauma. This is. They're causing me trauma, you guys. They're causing me trauma. Um, and you can get in there and park um, your truck. Um, so if this happens again, um, if I'm throwing up six, five, six hours a day, then I'll go back down there. Um, And that's going on with me. I figure they're they're costing my insurance about twenty thousand dollars, twenty five thousand um, dollars. They're costing my insurance. My insurance is probably going. What the hell is going on? This guy's going to the hospital every day. You know. That's what's going on with me. Um, we spent the afternoon in the ER um, because they're making me throw up, and they gave me a sore tummy all day, all day long. You know. How do we get this guy to stop? How do we get him to stop? Um, I don't know. I used to have protection. I used to have protection. 
um, these agencies used to protect me. Um, I don't know what I, I don't know what I did wrong to make them not protect me, but I used to have prote protection from these agencies. Um, the most powerful agency in the world, the CIA, I used to have protection from, and the number two powerful agency in the world, the FBI, I used to have protection from. And I wish it'd come and step in. I wish it'd come and step in and stop this. Because this this guy is a good stop. He's not gonna stop. Um, you know, even if I go to the ER or if I keep on, on going to the ER or I keep on going to my doctor, um nobody knows what to say. They don't know what they don't know what to do, they don't know what to say. Um, I'm to the point where they're not gonna lock me up anymore. <coughs> and um, I can talk about this, and um, they're not gonna lock me up. They're not gonna call me delusional or anything like that. And uh, um, they locked me up so many times. They're not gonna lock me up anymore. So I can talk about this. So um, I've been talking about it, even with my nurse practitioner. Um, I've been telling her. I'm getting it with Dragon's weapons. Um, it doesn't make any sense why you're throwing up every, every other week. It doesn't make any sense, you know. So, I tell the truth. Um, and that's what's going on with me, you guys. So, I'm going to cut this off. Um, you know, I hope you guys are doing well. And I'll talk to you guys later.